my research is on how AI is being introduced and how it's being done by teachers in classrooms. So I've been conducting some ethnographical work and uh, I've also been doing a literature review on AI literacy in schools to try to find out what this means for the role of teacher, for the teacher's professional knowledge and uh, for the teacher profession. Uh, because AI is here and it's permitting uh, much of the technologies that, that we work with at the moment. Presently, it's still not a completely closed black box. We speak about these large language models. But eventually, we will not even think about interacting with AI. And it does affect us and it does definitely defect, uh, affect education in ways that we have not researched yet enough, so we don't really have the research, the scientific underpinnings to say whether this is something that is, uh, can make a difference or if it's something that imposes risks to teaching and to the way we develop knowledge in society. Currently, teachers are doing a lot of work that's compensatory and they, uh, they have to work, do a lot of workarounds to make these technology come in in a good way. And the technologies are not primarily developed for educational purposes. So we really need to make sure that teachers are involved and the teacher gets the right professional development to become AI literate and that also students get uh, AI literacy as part of their education. And with AI literacy, I mean to be able to say when AI is proper to use, how AI is affecting the teaching practices in the classroom, when it should be used and when it should be not, not be used. Uh, so uh, a bit about AI ethics too. We need to see how, what ethics is in a classroom perspective because it's not only about uh, privacy or like biases that are imposed by historical data in the data sets. It's not necessarily something that you can always engineer away because it's about the relation between, I mean, education is about trust and relation between the teacher and the student. So, Automated grading, for example, it's not only about a fair grade. It's about knowing that it's your teacher has read the work that you have done. That's a part of the motivation and that will, that will actually contribute to the learning. And we have to look at that really closely in the classroom, what happens when these automated systems are being introduced. And we also have to know what decisions are being made. Uh, by these systems, how they are actually developed. And right now, we don't really know. We don't really know much about the large language models, for example. I and mean, we know that there is a lot of uh, force work <laughs> uh, that's distributed all over the world to make these systems polite and, uh, well, accountable in some sort of way, usable. But we don't know how they have been trained, so... Thank you.